Hello and welcome to Kindred Spirit Tarot. This is your monthly message for December 2019. Thank you so much for joining me. If it's your first visit, welcome. If you are returning, then welcome back and thank you. For this month's reading, I am using the Game of Thrones Tarot. Okay, Virgo, uh, your moon cycles this month are full moon on the 12th. Full moons are you gaining some insight or inner wisdom on a situation or something being revealed to you. Um, and your new moon is on the 26th and new moons are the perfect time to start something new, begin again or even hit that reset button. Okay, so these are general messages. This may or may not resonate with you. If you don't find resonance, I would encourage you to check out your moon and rising sign also. And my moon is in Virgo, so I am always interested in this message. Thank you. First card is out. What is the message from Spirit for Virgo for the month of December 2019? Thank you. I'm going to put that in front because I feel that that's where the card had placed itself. What is the message from Spirit for my wonderful friends Virgo? What does Virgo need to know? From the Game of Thrones Tarot for December. Wow. Okay. Your cards are flying. Um, again, I feel that this one wants to go even before those. So, as an intuitive reader, <laughs> I follow my intuition. Okay, Virgo, your first card is, wow, Major Arcana number 17, The Star. Followed by Major Arcana, number 12, The Hanged Man. And followed by the Page of Swords. Your first card, one of two Major Arcanas. Major Arcana speak of your inner world, your inner knowing, your major inner knowledge. And this is number 17, The Star. This is you, you have found hope, you have found peace, this has been very healing for you and now I feel that you are feeling the wonderful energies of inspiration, um, imagination, um, intuition. When the star card appears in a reading it is to let us know that our dreams and our wishes are being granted and it's all coming my friends because you are now going with the flow not against the flow going with the tide and not swimming against the tide this is the healing i feel that you some of you have found or will be finding this month um and restored hope i am hearing there's a restored a renewed um, feeling of hope um a renewed feeling of positivity um and i'm really drawn to the bright light here um of this star card and it's in an archway it's in a doorway um and so although this this uh, person appears to be behind uh, a doorway almost behind a veil um the light is showing you the way, my friends. Wow. Oh, and I am sorry. Of course, one and seven, we are adding up to number eight. Uh, eight is the number of manifestation and abundance, my friends. So um, all on its way for you this month. Your wishes are being granted. And next you have still major arcana so we're still talking about your major inner knowledge is number 12 the hanged man and this is 
it's the change that you have made my friends which is uh, removing a block from your path which is allowing you the powers of manifestation and the hanged man he is um, looking at things and looking at life from a different point of view from a different viewpoint from a different angle from a new perspective uh, the hangman he puts himself in this position on purpose so that he can have um, an all-encompassing vision of his life this is i am feeling um asking you to be patient um while you've put your desires out there and they are being granted as in all the necessary synchronicities are all being lined up for you in the background so you're being reminded to be patient taking a world view re being relaxed about your life being relaxed about changes and also one and two adding up to the wonderful number three the trinity mind body spirit thoughts words and actions so i do feel that you are putting yourself in the position of authenticity this month where you are allowing your true self your true spirit your true nature to um to come out Ooh. <laughs> okay virgo next you have the page of swords so this is back in the physical and pages are a youthful energy so this is a potential beginning for you uh, a potential opportunity and sword energy air energy this is thoughts ideas and communication um, and i'm feeling now my friends with this you found all things authenticity that you are the point that you are coming from the focus that you are coming from the energy that you are coming from that you are now radiating radiating out into the world um is bringing about a swift um a swift but deliberate change i am hearing um the page of swords um act swiftly on any thoughts on any ideas uh can also act really swiftly on communication so on the one hand it's be beware not to react too quickly so remember to be the hanged man um relax about changes be patient while you go through changes oh virgo um I also want to say, although this page of swords is wearing a mask, I do actually feel that you, you're letting your mask down. Um, and I do feel, Virgo, you, you can st stick in, um, be swift with this sword en energy, uh, sometimes a bit quick with our words, sometimes sometimes it's good it's just quick wit but other times I feel it can be uh, sarcasm I am hearing. So... Um, being careful not to overreact. Ooh, Virgo. Okay. <clears throat> Next, we will have the secret language of colour by Inner Seagal, and we'll see what colour is going to be beneficial for you for this month, my friends. <clears throat> but I do. I'm hearing Virgo that the spirit. Uh, with with which you are acting now uh, in other words what is coming from within to without is is more your very true nature which is wonderful what is the message wow okay straight away <clears throat> i'll just lower the camera <clears throat> okay there we go and your colour is, wow, 
Pearl, this has been coming out such a lot lately. Uh, number 25, connect to the divine. Two and five, adding up to number seven. The number of spirituality and magic. And I love that it's come under the star card. The star, uh, when you wish upon a star, my friends, your dreams do come true. And they come true because you have this wonderful connection with the divine when you are in your authenticity when you are in your true nature wow okay <clears throat> pearl is a special shade of white that calms purifies and promotes faith Wow, that's why I was really drawn to the candle and the lady behind it. Um, the promoting of faith is you actually seeing what's behind the veil. And with this uh, starlight and this candlelight here, you can actually see that there is somebody um, behind that archway. Ooh. Okay, I'm going to start again. Pearl is a special shade of white that calms, purifies and promotes faith. It allows you to flow with life and connect to your divine nature. Wow! The colour of personal integrity, truth and loyalty. Pearl brings clarity, peace and harmony into your life. To strengthen your connection to the divine, visualise pearly light. Imagine a ladder made of pearly light. Begin climbing this ladder in your mind's eye. With every step, allow yourself to breathe in more pearly light, clearing your mind and releasing all density and heaviness in your body. Allow yourself to focus on purity, clarity and the divine connection between your body, mind, emotions and soul. When you feel like you are close to the divine light, open your arms wide to receive it and say, Divine Spirit, I ask you to surround me with your healing light. Please strengthen my connection to your divine love and light and breathe in this light and feel its fullness pouring into your soul until you feel whole. Then climb down the ladder knowing that you are loved, connected and full of light. <coughs> Excuse me, my friends. OK, so now I'm drawn back to the hangman. We're actually in this drawing. We can see um, your kind of your muscular and muscular tissue, if you like, and all your muscle. Um, and it's kind of showing what you would see in your body and that the, what you can't see is this energy field of light that is surrounding you. So many realms, so many densities. <laughs> Oh, wow, this is wonderful. Okay. Energy Oracle by Sandra Ann Taylor. What is the message for my wonderful friends Virgo from Spirit? Oh, far too many. For the month of December 2019, what does Virgo need to know from Spirit? Whoop, it's you, stuck to my finger. <laughs> okay, and your energy oracle is, ooh, anxiety, uh, one and eight, one and eight. 18, adding up to the wonderful number 9, 9, the number of completion, the number of reaching an ideal, the number of coming into your own as becoming your own leader, and also dreams coming true, my friends. Okay, although it says anxiety, worry ye not, because there's a storm out the window and the storm is passing. So worry or distress. The woman on this card is filled with anxiety, worrying about something that causes her a great deal of discomfort. Receiving this card may indicate that you are experiencing a time of increasing stress 
perhaps even a situation that you find yourself brooding about much of the time. However, if you'll notice the scene outside the window, the storm is distant and perhaps even moving away. Whatever is going on, this card is telling you to release the worry and let yourself relax. Brooding and fretting will never solve things, so trust in yourself and your process and when you live with a relaxed heart and mind, you are far more likely to receive the solutions that you seek. So receiving it, and as it's sort, I'm feeling, um, once you remove the, the worry, the stress and the anxiety, the thoughts and the ideas just flow, my friends. Wow. Okay. Oracle of the Unicorns, Cordelia Francesca Brabs, whom I lovingly call my trusty steeds. And let's call on Ruby now, the kind red spirit. What is the message for my wonderful friends Virgo? From Ruby, the kind red spirit, for the month of December 2019. What does Virgo need to know, Ruby? Thank you. And your card from Ruby, the kind red spirit, is. Ooh, balance. Wow. Take time to relax. <laughs> I hope you're getting the message, Virgo. Being relaxed and patient this month. Um, indulging a little more or a little less. So balance, um, moderation um, and setting boundaries with your work. Uh, really drawn to the butterflies, uh, these little monarch butterflies dancing around you. Uh, I'm really feeling that is uh, this is a signal of change, Virgo. The change is you moving away from anxiety and fear either because the storm is passing or because the storm is not actually going to reach you it's just in thought form um, but now that you understand that what you are thinking you are attracting to you um, I really see you now changing the way that you are thinking new perspectives perspectives new outlooks new ways of looking at your life and it is not through the eyes of worry anxiety or fear but it is with your true connection to your very spirit and therefore with the divine and when you do that my friends you relax you settle in you know that everything is for you and it's all there in moderation and I'm seeing the block removed and you being receiving thoughts ideas I feel that they're going to come real swiftly to you once you remove this block of anxiety my friends and I do feel then that there is nothing going to be stopping you <laughs> what an absolutely wonderful message for you Virgo to end the year wow and I'm looking at the hangman now and it's like you are doing handstands cartwheels um and you're growing wings, my friends. You are growing wings and you are soaring this month. Wow. And it is towards the light, uh, leaving the lower density, dark energy behind and going towards the light where all of your dreams and wishes are granted. Oh, Virgo. Wow. <laughs> Love it. Well, thank you for all of your likes, your shares. Welcome new subscribers. Thank you so much for your support. And thank you too for your warm, kind, encouraging comments and emails. I really look forward to receiving them and I welcome your feedback. And so, Virgo, may favour be with you all as I wish you a joyful a peaceful and a truly blessed month.
and until next month, my friends, goodbye.